Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everyone, I'm here doing a random collective reading. Um, this reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you, okay? Just take what does resonate and toss out the rest. Don't try to force any reading into your world. And thank you so much, everyone. You know, I get on the computer every day and I see all your comments and um, I just love you all so much. Thank you so much um, for all the support that you show to the channel, but really the support that you show to me. I'm, I'm so grateful, guys. Really, I truly am. Thank you so, so much. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, comment. Um, you know, share your stories here, uh, vent if you want, you know what I mean? I just love this soul tribe. Thank you so much, you guys. All right, so Divine, what do you have for the collective today? What messages do you have for the collective? Regretful and stressed. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like, um, Honestly, I'm feeling like there's a, I feel like it's a masculine energy out here who's just re regretful for how they treated you. Um, I had another reading like this earlier today, cancer video. Um, I feel like what was done to you was, was pretty brutal. Um, you, you don't have to be a cancer. This is just, um, this is for any sign. Okay. Um, and I feel like your person, they put you in this situation that was brutal. Um, they broke your heart. I feel like there were a lot of people around you talking about you, chattering about how hurt you were, um, and yet no one came to your aid, okay? And I feel like it felt like public humiliation. Um, not only were, were was your heart broken, but you it was almost like public humiliation and you were made to feel awkward maybe even to step out in your community. People were talking about this, yet this could have been people that you knew. This could have been done to you by a group of people, okay, that, had, that took part in it. I'm seeing up to five people here. Um, but I really feel like you just felt so attacked, and yet not one of these people came to your aid, not one. Um, we just had this in uh, the cancer video, okay? Same, almost the same exact stuff, and I feel like not your person. I feel like they're feeling stuck wherever they are, okay? Um, some of them could even be in jail, but I'm really feeling like they just feel stuck and trapped because they don't really have a defense. Defenseless, helpless. This person, they don't know how to make it right. Is anything going to make this right? What they did, what's been done to you? I mean, and this was, you, you were made to feel, I mean, just shattered. It shattered you, not just from this one person, but others that um, just watched. They just watched. They watched you struggle with this. They watched you be heartbroken. They watched your heart be trampled all over. They talked about you behind your back, stirred up whatever kind of chaos this was. Some of you were feeling isolated, maybe a feeling too awkward to even leave your house. I mean, it was ridiculous what was done to you. And I feel like you were singled out and attacked in this way. And now this person, now they're stressed out. They're regretting how they treated you, okay? Um, which is good that they finally regret it, but, you know, there was no one, no one who came to your aid. I feel like it's not just this person that needs to make right. It's whoever you were close to that took part in this and didn't even care to help you out with it, right? That's the feeling that I'm getting. I feel like um, it made you feel self-conscious about yourself. Uh, it made you feel very exposed. This person, um, they could have exposed secrets about you or told, told stories about you. People were talking about this. It was like, why? I feel like what was done to you was um, pointless. There was no reason for it. And now this person is in regret, super stressed out because they don't have any way to make things right. But 
You know, I, I think um, they, they caused so much damage to this connection um, that they really, they may not have a way to make all of this right. And what of the other people who's just stood around and watched you suffer? They can't make it right either. This person could have sta sat around and waited for a sign from you. It's like they know that uh, they want you, but yeah, you uh, you want your justice. They need to boss up or this thing is coming to an end. I feel like that's what this person is thinking here as they stand here and still wait for, for a response from what freaking response? That you were that you were broken and that people just watched you freaking be put through this? What what kind of response could this person actually be waiting for here? But that's that's what they're waiting for. They realized I think when they sabotaged you when they stuck swords, and I feel like a lot of swords were stuck in your back, um, this connection was sabotaged as well. They lost their happiness. They lost their ten of pentacles. They lost the person that they were supposed to actually be with. They're seeing this clearly now, and um, I feel like they're crying over it. But this is, they did this to themselves. When they did this, when they hurt you, they hurt themselves and their future. This choice um, cost them the Ten of Pentacles. That's everything that you could possibly want in your life. Um, it's a commitment, something long-lasting, something solid, stable, a lot of money here too, generational wealth. They And their happiness, they're seeing this clearly now. When they betrayed you, they actually betrayed themselves. Yeah, they it really... They were only fighting themselves here. They got in their own way of uh, ultimate happiness. Yeah, with lies, deceit, betrayal, in and out, back and forth, you know, not being serious, taking from you. Um, third party situations and none of none of them actually worked if they had any third parties or any any kind of gossip out there the gossip was fake false i mean these are skeletons there's no meat there there's nothing important there i yeah i'm reading this card differently than i normally would the three of cups but you look at it something could have happened around halloween but I really feel like um, these cups are empty. So it's like whatever gossip that anybody said about you here regarding this, right? All the chit chat and stuff. There, there was nothing. Um, there was nothing real about that. It, there, it was. It, there was nothing true about it. Okay, it was all false. Um, and if there were third party situations, there was no. Um, substance there was no um, meat to it right um, it wasn't you it just that you're you're out here being a temperance angel um, and you know here's the thing person watching right I, I see you as the temperance angel very balanced very happy now okay healed I feel like you've healed yourself from all of this crap um, I, I feel like you're a, you could be a light worker, and that's why you're a target for stuff like this, okay? It's that negative energy, that evilness out there that really wants to bring you down. They don't want the, that evil energy doesn't want to see light workers succeed. And I, I think that's, you know, you were just a target, man. What was done to you was literally horrible. Yeah, look at how strong you are. That's what it is. It's your light. Look at all of this yellow, and look at this glow around you. This is why you go through spiritual attacks. This is why people have tried to bring you down. This is why things like this happen. It's because um, the evil in this world wants to bring down the light workers. I feel like that's what you are here with the temperance angel and strength. Yeah. And high priestess on the bottom of the deck. Yes. Thank you. 
Yes, definitely a light worker here, I feel. And people are seeing this now. This person is seeing this now. They see how important you are, how tapped in you are to the divine, how in you're intuitive, you're an empath, okay? Um, and I feel like you're, you haven't wavered. Since this happened, I feel like you held your head up high. You embraced your inner strength, okay? Um, and you kept your integrity intact. You did. You didn't talk to this person. You haven't said a peep to them. You've just, you quietly went along your way and healed yourself from this, remaining strong and standing in your integrity and your truth. And I feel now this person knows that if they come towards you uh, without a defense, you're going to see right through this person. Yeah, see, with the Six of Cups. So I've got the Seven of Cups out here with the Six of Cups, okay? This person, I'm not going to lie, they had other options. Not all of them were viable, okay? But they had other options around them. They treated you like an option on top of this, right? On top of everything else you that people put you through, they treated you like an option, too. They're Ten of Pentacles. you got to be kidding me, right? Yeah, now they're seeing you as the one option, the only option for them, okay? Now they want to come in and try to fix this, but, you know, have they done so much damage that um, nothing can be done, right? This person can't, they can't stop thinking about you. Um, and look at how angry this tower looks in the back. And look at how sad this house looks in the back. I feel like this person's had nothing but grief in their life since since they did this to you. It's all just slowly kind of crumbled apart. Yeah, they went with the Queen of Wands here, I feel. That, I mean, she's really, this Queen of Wands here, it looks like, um, she the way she's sitting in her chair she's she's got her legs spread wide open okay um i feel like it was a sexual i feel like they got themselves trapped in a sexual commitment does that make sense and now they're all kinds of trapped here with the with the queen of wands and i feel like this is the karmic and all the karmic is doing is watching the situation watching your person continue to love you and and unable to think about anything else yeah a toxic situation that's coming to an end they're watching their toxic commitment come to an end i'm telling you look look at their eyes look at the horror of the see they're holding this sunflower but the sunflower looks freaking scared this is a scared karmic knowing that um their days in this toxic relationship are over. This person, whoever this masculine energy is, they can't stop thinking about you. They want you. You're their, they see you as their ten of pentacles. They're everything. And so this karmic is just watching this happen. It's just, they're just watching this um, toxic relationship completely fall apart all trapped in their mind about it. I'm telling you, they're obsessed with this. They're obsessed with trying to hang on to this person. Um, and they can't. They can't. Because the heart wants what the heart wants. But the, the problem here, yeah, like I said, the heart wants what the heart wants. This masculine's about to walk away. I feel like there's going to be a battle, too, um, with this karmic individual. There's going to be a fight. These two are going to fight. It's going to be a chaotic mess when this happens, when this tower comes down. I'm telling you. But there's a masculine energy who's walking away from a karmic here to come to their true love. And that would be you. This masculine wants another chance. They want another chance with you. After all that's been done to you, not just by them, but everybody else around the situation, you know, what, the fact that no one came to your aid and just talked about you suffering, that speaks volumes. 
and I feel like you've seen things clearly here and um, you can't unsee these things about these people okay so yeah this this masculine is going to walk away from the karmic the karmic is watching this crumble that's seriously all they can do now is just watch it fall apart um and fight when your person's on their way out um but yeah when this person comes forward towards you will they will they have enough Will they be able to do enough to even fix this? To try to make right for all that's been done? Because even the universe is ticked off. See, this is what I'm talking about. I feel like you're on top of the wheel here. I'm seeing this sword also as a microphone. So you could have a public podium somewhere. You could be a spiritual healer, spiritual teacher, even another tarot card reader. Um, and I feel like the divine and the universe is very pleased with you okay but here's your person and here's the karmic and look at their they're wondering why is this taking so long the universe is like gasping at this I feel like look at how angry the wheel is grasping onto these two and pulling them apart that's what's happening here there's gonna be a huge stir up um, with the moon phases in between the moon phases here i feel like something's going to go down with this next full moon guys which is coming up what monday sunday night monday yeah this person's going to leave this thing is crumbling here very very soon and the universe is bringing the tower down on this it's it's time to close out this cycle and the universe has had enough it's like en enough is enough this is going to be over even if we have to pull you guys apart ourselves this karmic situation is done all right so what else can you show me yeah and your person is choosing a new path i'm telling you they're choosing a new path they're coming towards you after walking away now when they walk away from the karmic there is going to be a massive fight here with them because it's toxic okay but yeah it's one of those wait for it because it's about to happen guys i'm telling you i'm seeing something going down here in this next full moon phase is really what i'm seeing or an eclipse another eclipse anyway listen that's what I've got for this reading. Um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. If you guys like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.